Up until three years ago, Anya had a really successful career in cor the corporate world. And then, life happened. She became a caretaker, and went from being a, a, a CPA to a caregiver to a filmmaker, and now to a campus speaker. Her message to you today is real simple. Nothing matters about what you've been through or what's coming up. You have got what it takes to make it through. Please welcome Anya Maria. Good afternoon, everyone. Are you guys having a good time? Yes! Yeah. Okay, no, that's Are you having a good time?
And there was a moment when I realized that all those excuses I used to have, they were not going to fly anymore. Things so like, oh, I don't have to do this today. I mean, it's only Monday, right? I have a whole week to finish it. Or even things like, I don't love being a CPA, but I mean, what am I going to do? Am I going to change a career? What am I going to do? Become a motivational speaker or something? <laughs> you see, that was the moment when I realized that I wasn't living a draft of my life. This was it. This was the life I was going to have. And one thing I knew that was so clear to me, that unless I got a grip, unless I figured out how to be a leader, is that life and death situation, I was going to live with the consequences of what I did or did not do for the rest of my life. So I quit my job. I became a full-time caregiver. I took care of Adrian for 16 months of his illness. And he passed away a year and a half ago. And as you can see, it is still an emotional experience. And a day doesn't go by that I don't argue with God about it. But at the same time, I'm so aware that if it wasn't for that experience, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I wouldn't be standing on this stage sharing this information with you. And it really bothers me when I hear people say, oh, but you have to be a natural leader to lead. I mean, some people are just natural at it, and the rest of us are like, well, you know what? That's just a bunch of horse food. <laughs> Pardon my Ukrainian. It's a bunch of horse food. Because, because leadership is like an era switch. And every one of us has it. And we all can choose to flip it on just like that. Because when that happens, we have zero control. But we do have 100% control over how we respond to those circumstances. When you choose to be a leader, you put yourself in a seat of an advantage. Because when you control your thoughts, when you control your behavior, you decide what things mean. You also decide what you're going to do next. Five seconds. All it takes to go from feeling like a victim to choosing to be a leader. Five seconds. All it takes to look at the situation, analyze it, understand what your priorities are, what your values are, Make up your mind what you're going to do and just stick to it. Five seconds is what separates people who succeed from those who complain. From those who complain. <coughs> now sometimes, sometimes we forget who we are. And we forget what we're capable of. It's true for me and I'm sure it's true for you. So since we only have like one minute left, I would like to send you off with a funny story which will keep reminding you who you are. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. A man had two daughters. One was extremely beautiful. The other one, well, not so much. One day, a young farmer comes to the old man and says, Sir, I would like to marry your daughter. I have 10 cows to give in exchange for her. So the man thought about it and said, Okay, 10 cows, beautiful daughter, that sounds about right. The young farmer replied, but no, I don't want to give you 10 cows for the beautiful one. I want to give you 10 cows for the other one. Okay, the guy's kind of weird, but what are you going to do? I mean, you can give me just two cows for her, but no, he insisted. A year goes by, the couple moves away, the father decides to, to visit them. She travels really far, she changes two horses. He is almost like ready to knock on the door, and then the door just opens up. Oops. I have sound effects. <laughs> the door just opens up, and this stunning, gorgeous woman runs up to him, hugs him, and says, Father, I've been waiting for you for so long. I'm so glad you've come. And he's looking at her and like, what happened? You look so gorgeous. This is a miracle. And she says, Dad, there is no miracle. I simply realized I was worth 10 cows. <laughs> <laughs> so when I come to your campus, the first thing I do, I give each one of you 10 cows. Here's what you're going to learn. How to turn your leadership switch on. How to understand what drives you, what gets you out of bed. And how to use that knowledge to become completely and totally unstoppable. Leaders wear many hats, but which three of them are the most important ones to have? 
and be able to cycle through, through them on a regular basis so that you too have an irresistible influence. What employers are looking for in new hires and how to be the one person that they do want to invest into. Now this is my favorite one. How to initiate, execute, and enjoy a self-leadership project called you. Now to finish this up, everyone please stand up. Come on, with energy. Repeat after me. Five seconds. Five seconds. I have. I have to choose to, choose to, be, a leader. to be a leader. No matter what happens. No matter what happens. I've got what it takes. I've got what it takes. I am worth. I am worth more than ten thousand. More than ten thousand. You guys are awesome. God bless you. There's a saying I love, and it goes like this. Fear is a reaction. Courage is a choice. She made a choice to be brave. Yeah, she made a choice to be brave. I love that about her. There's so many ways you can use a speaker like this on your campus. Right? She's a, she can teach your students how to, be, how to be leaders, how to overcome adversity in life. Don't we all face adversity? In five seconds, your life will change. Five seconds. It's that, it's that, it's that immediate that way. Think about how you can use a speaker like this on your campus to be a part of your, your purpose. How could you use a speaker like I am? Ideas? Orientation. Orientation. Sure, athlete. Orientation. Leadership training. Retreats. Workshops. Business majors. Business majors would love this. Would love this. Yeah, lots of great ideas. Again, think creatively about the actions you see. Don't think just because you see them up on a stage in a big room, you got to put them up on a stage in a big room. You know, there are different ways you can use them on your campus. So be aware of that.